I'm Kiki Cabrera. And I'm Brett Backhoff. And this, this is, is Ghost, Ghost Stories. Lawrence College, College Edition. Edition. Fun fact, uh, Lawrence College is the oldest college in Iowa. Second fun fact, there are more ghosts at Lawrence College than students. Third fact, Kiki and I hate ghosts. Fourth and final fact, we are gonna give you a tour of Lawrence College and all the spooky ghosts that live here. Long ago, before Hoffman Hall was for students, it was a Civil War hospital, and this, the chapel to the Civil War hospital. Rumor has it, there's an old Civil War veteran who still haunts these halls, and especially this chapel. But if you listen very, very closely, you can still hear his footsteps. Oh my gosh. Picture this, you're studying late at night, you're finishing up the Lorian for the October 31st edition on Halloween Ghost Adventures. When you come down the stairs to go lock up the theater, when you notice a ghostly figure standing on the stage, you have no idea if this is a human or a cardboard cutout, but you decide to go investigate. You start walking down the stairwell only to see that it is in fact not a human nor a cardboard cutout, but a ghostly figure. You stare at it for a couple minutes, when all of a sudden you just see it go across the stage and vanish and you are just mesmerized by how an amazing of what could that possibly be. Long ago in the 1900s, at the top of Henyon Street, lied Henyon Manor, built by Lorenzo Hilliard, who passionately believed in spirits and the afterworld. At this time, it was one of the most modern houses the world has ever seen. It had two-way drawers, it had soap dispensers that delivered soap to every bathroom. Now, that may be one of the cooler features, but something not so cool about this house is that he built bedrooms for every one of his deceased family members, as well as every single night delivered dinner plates to the table and set it perfectly just for them. The only problem? is that he also died inside the house, leaving his spirit and the spirits of his families trapped inside. When Lorenzo Hilliard passed away, the Henyon Manor was sold to Loris College, who then turned it into a media studies lab. Rumor has it there are multiple stories about altercations students have witnessed while working in the media studies lab. The first one is by Jim Montabano. He was a media studies student working in the photo lab. At 12.30 at night, he turned down the hallway and saw that the drapes were closed. He went back to working and at 1 a.m. when he came back down the hallway, the drapes were wide open, which doesn't make any sense because in order to get into the building, you had to have the key to a padlock, which he locked up while he was working. So that only means Lorenzo was there to haunt him. Second story about the hauntings in Henyon Manor. David Ludwig, a student photographer, was studying late at night in the dark room when all of a sudden he felt a chill when there was no fans, no air conditioner, no circulation of any kind. How could this possibly? One reason, a ghost. He felt a little chill on the back of his neck and he did not know what to do. He freaks out, he's running in the room, he doesn't know what to do. When he looks across, all the doors are still locked, there's no one here, no security guard, no one in the photography room. Who could it possibly be? A ghost. Third story of a haunting in Henyon Manor. Professor Goodman was working here late one night with his own film student when he heard footsteps above him. He went to go check the front and the back entrance thinking it was a security guard, but both entrances were locked. He ran outside to check the parking lot. No other cars were around. He went back inside and continued to work, but later he kept hearing the footsteps. Later that day, he asked another professor that once lived in Henyon Manor about any strange occurrences that could have possibly happened, and he said, he never vowed to speak about these situations again, only confirming that these stories are definitely true. And Lorenzo Hilliard still haunts the Henyon Manor. Now formerly known as Bins Hall. Late one night, a boy was studying in his room when he heard a weird noise. He turned over his shoulder to see what it was but didn't see anything, so he just went back to studying. Then, he heard it again. This time when he turned around, the boy saw a dark ah! slender man. 
exit out the room and left. The only way for the ghost to go away was to bring a rosary blessed by the Pope himself. Long ago, Roman Hall is where funerals were held for past sisters. Rumor has it, you can still hear their mourning cries as they're mourning for their past loved ones. Ten years ago, some students were playing in the lobby with the Ouija board when they were trying to summon a spirit, only to find that they couldn't actually get one but many spirits as the Ouija board was unable to identify just a singular spirit. The lobby of Roman Hall isn't the only place that's haunted. The third floor, room 356, is also haunted. Two first year students have said when they leave their room, they shut everything off. But when they return, the lights are on and flickering. This is not the only time this has happened in this room. Late at night, when students were sleeping in this room at 3 in the morning, the TV randomly just turned on with no explanation, as well as the sink just started spewing out water. This is the room, 356. Confirmed haunted by multiple people. One of the most haunted rooms on campus. We are in CTK, where one eyewitness account of a historical ghostly figure situation had occurred, where the tale of a priest and a professor came into CTK late at night one night, only to see three eerie figures sitting in a pew. One of them was a teenager boy, one was an old man, and one was believed to be Mrs. Wallet herself playing the organ. I think it's her. Directly under the CTK Chapel lies Mr. and Mrs. Waller, who are huge contributors to Loras College. It is believed that their spirits roam the halls of CTK and Kane. These tunnels are directly under Kane Hall. They once led to all the buildings on campus such as Hoffman and Hennessy. But now they are closed off because there have been spottings of wanderers from the Great Depression who haunt these tunnels. And one of these tunnels connects directly under the crypt of Mr. and Mrs. Wallet, who are said to have haunted these halls all the time. They take their evening strolls, and you can even hear her organ playing through these tunnels. And if you're really lucky, you can get a rush of cold air behind you as you, she walks behind you. Just like this. Here we are on the fifth floor of Kane, where Mr. Wallet would push his wife in her wheelchair down the hall. And people still believe that you can hear the shuffling of Mr. Waller. On a lighter note, I know we've been talking about a lot of spooky stories. However, we have one that is kind of funny. And very lighthearted. <laughs> As you all know, Kane Hall is a huge landmark for Dubuque. However, with old buildings comes a lot of back history. One of those was a prank where students brought a cow up the stairs to the fourth floor. If you didn't know, cows are notorious for not being able to go back down the stairs. Therefore, the only way to bring the cow back down was in pieces. They slaughtered the cow in order to get it out of Kane Hall. And it is believed that you can still hear the cow moo on the fifth floor. This is Belmont House, one of the most haunted houses at Loras College. I've heard that there's been crying heard from the basement as well as footsteps in the middle of the night. What do you say we go take a look inside? We're doing that. Come on. I think that was part of the script. <laughs> Seems kind of freaky. Oh my god, I don't like this. <laughs> Did you hear about the, the story about the painting on the wall? How it started like crying out of the middle of the time? Did that happen here? Yeah. Oh my like god. it was a real occurrence and everything. Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh my god. I think it was just the air conditioning. <gasps> oh my, oh my god. god. Look at this. Whoa. The handprints? Yeah. For the person? Oh my gosh. Where are the ads? I don't know. I don't know where they are. Oh, 
Okay. Oh my god, we're going to have to no. walk about. No. You hear about the footsteps you could hear at night sometimes? Ooh. Go, 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 go. I don't know. 